Hello everybody, it's Thor here and welcome to a new video and I have a special guest that will be discussing about Project Cafe, so introduce yourself. What's going on guys, Terminator here, you can just call me Tim. So we'll be discussing Project Cafe, which has been getting a lot of buzz about this week, so you want to start talking about it? Yeah, sure. Um, I guess earlier Monday, uh, Nintendo had announced that their new console will be at E3 this year, and it will be coming out uh, sometime in 2012, uh, sometime after April, that's all they've said, is after April. And uh, there's a bunch of rumors about how it's, how powerful it's going to be, what the controller's going to look like, what the console's going to look like, kind of games that are coming out, just all kinds of crazy rumors. Pretty much every rumor you can possibly think of, it, it's connected to this Project Cafe in some way. It's pretty insane. So IGN is saying that it's significantly powerful than the PS3 and the 360, correct? Yeah. So yeah. what are your thoughts on that? I think that's a given because if you think about it, the, the 360 is about seven years old. Well, it came out in 05, so by the time 2012 comes around, it's going to be seven years old. And you'd hope that in seven years they would be able to make a console more powerful than the 360, so I think it's pretty much a given. Um, plus, if they release something that's less powerful, um, they're really kind of shooting themselves in the foot because with the Wii, like it had the motion controls and stuff, but... I don't know what this console is going to have that, uh, you know, can make up for a lack of power. So I think, well, especially from the rumors we're hearing, I'm pretty sure it's going to be way more powerful. Yeah, that's right. So what do you think if, like, if they make it powerful enough, then uh, the PS3 and the 360, do you think the next, you know, Xbox 720 or the PS4 will be able to top the next Nintendo console? I think they are definitely going to top uh cafe in terms of power and i'm not saying that because i want the cafe to do poorly i'm just saying it because you know historically speaking um the console that comes out first in the life cycle is usually less powerful like that's just the way computers work because six months after the cafe comes out something more powerful is going to come out and you know just the way technology works something more powerful is always going to come out after it just that's just the way it works plus if Nintendo wants to keep the price down, uh, you can't really have that much power because Nintendo doesn't sell consoles at a loss, ever. Uh, I think that's something that Sony and Microsoft aren't afraid to do uh, because they, when the 360 and the PS3 first came out, they were selling those consoles at a loss. They were actually losing money on every sale of the console, but that's not something Nintendo is prepared to do. Yeah, that's right. That sounds good. Uh, so now about the controller. Now we're getting like lots of details that it has that. Uh, big six inch touchscreen. Um, do you think they're going like they're doing like what Apple's doing right now with the iPad and iTouch and incorporating it to in a controller? Yeah, it's it's kind of interesting because uh, some people were saying um, Apple was trying to get into the home console, and what they could do is with the Apple TV uh, streaming games over the internet to your Apple TV to play on your TV. I think it could be similar uh, in a way. Um, I think I think the way the console is going to work now, they haven't confirmed anything, but from what I can tell, you're going to be able to stream games onto multiple different controllers using this one system. So the one system is going to do all the processing for all your little handheld controllers. Uh, you can play it on the TV. You can play it on your device. That's what some people have been saying, but it's really hard to tell exactly what they're doing until you actually see it and they actually discuss it. But from a lot of the patents you see, um, it, it's like one console streaming games to multiple devices, kind of similar to what uh, you know people were guessing Apple will do in the future. So I think yeah. Nintendo's trying to, uh, I guess, preemptively cut off Apple in terms of what they were thinking of doing. Sounds right. So when you say stream, there's a possibility that the next console will be called Nintendo Stream or just Stream by itself, correct? Yeah, yeah, that's what that's what we've heard. Yeah. Um, I don't know. the The name Cafe makes sense though, because if you think about like an, a cafe, like Starbucks, you walk in, there's wireless. You just sit down, take you out socialize your with wireless. people. Yeah, like yeah, you just take out your wireless device, and you can automatically connect. You get all your content. Think of that, but in your home, and instead of 
just wireless internet, you're getting actual content, like game content streamed to you rather than just in a cafe with just Wi-Fi. Um, but yeah, if you take that name cafe and just kind of think about what that means and apply it to the home, I think you'll have a pretty good idea of how this console is going to work. Yeah, sounds right. So um, Iwata today said that the Project Cafe will offer a new way of playing games within the home. So what do you think that means, specifically? I think it means not just the living room. I think it means taking it with you throughout the home. Um, you know, if someone's watching TV, you can't play games on that TV, so why not stream it to your controller? Yeah. Uh, you know, that's just me. Like, this is all speculation. This is just me guessing. But I think by new way to play, he means not just a portable system like a 3DS, but portable in the home. So you can get, like, all your favorite services in the home. And, you know, the power of, like, a next-gen console, like, in a home wherever you want, just, I don't know, it's just not confined to the living room space. You can just take it wherever you want. Yeah. So with the touchscreen um, controller, they say that maybe you can get some help from your dad or your friend and be able to help each other on the same game or take turns playing, you know, different kind of games on the controller. How do you think about it? What do you think about that? Um, it's I don't know because if you think about what they what they did in terms of connectivity on the GameCube, like streaming. Uh, I don't know if anyone remembers this, but. The Four Swords Adventure on GameCube, yeah. and you could also hook up your Game Boy Advance, and like you could give your friend the Game Boy Advance, and they can help you out and stuff like that. It might be similar, like even a more recent example in Super Mario Galaxy, where you hand the controller to a second player, even though they're not playing the game, they can still work with you. That might be how a touchscreen could work. Um, like maybe a second player has a second controller, and they can see what's going on on their screen, and you have to work together and kind of figure out what the other person's seeing. I don't know. I'm just I'm just guessing here, but I think that's what they mean. Like you can stream different images to different controllers so everyone can see something different. Yeah, interaction with family, friends. That sounds yeah, for yeah, sure. like Nintendo sounds like typical Nintendo. Yeah. So, um Sam Kennedy from One Up said that there won't be uh friend codes on the new console. So, you think Nintendo's trying to catch uh, play catch up with Microsoft and Sony here with their online connectivity? They better be trying because Xbox Live has been out since ah trust. I can't even remember. I think like two thousand two or something, like over over ten years now, or close to it. Um, and they never had friend codes. Uh the PlayStation Network doesn't have friend codes. The three D S kinda made a move with the one it's friend one code step closer. System. <laughs> it's one step closer, but it's not quite there. Yeah. Um you know, it's it's way easier to tell your friend, yeah, add me on Xbox Live. It's Timinator, rather than, oh yeah, add me. It's three zero zero seven, blah blah blah, and memorizing your twelve digit code. It's it's a little annoying, but the 3DS made it made a step there, but it's not quite there. I hope, I hope that they make uh like a real online infrastructure for the cafe. Yeah, that would be pretty nice, you know, making yeah. everything easy. So uh, the design they say that it looks like a modern. Uh, Super NES? Yeah, I don't know what to make of that, because if you think of the SNES, it's more, it's wider than it is tall. Yeah. Um, they, they said just think of a modern day SNES, so I guess just take that basic rectangle shape and just curve it at the front, just give it some nice curves, I don't know, because <laughs> the SNES is really boxy, I don't think they're going to come out with a, with a really boxy Yeah, console. hopefully not. <laughs> Yeah. Hopefully. So uh, there are some people asking if uh, the Legend of Skyward Swords is going to be uh, moved to the VHD. You think that might be possible? I hope it is, but I don't think it is. <laughs> I think the game was made for Wii. It's going to come out. For yeah, Wii. it looks like it uses like the Motion Plus. More. I think they're done. To be honest, I think Skyward Sword is done, and they're just holding on to it for their holiday 2011 release. Because um, it's it's the end of April now. They've got. May, June, July, August, September. They've got another five months to just hold on to the game, maybe hand it over to some new people at Nintendo, have them polish it for some experience. But I, I think the main Zelda team has moved on already. I think the game's done. Sounds good, hopefully. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's done. <laughs> so they can get working on a new Zelda. Hopefully HD with graphics that will make you 
crap your pants. Yeah, hopefully. So that's a general run through of um, Project Cafe. If you want to check out Timmy's uh, channel, it'll be in the description below. And thank you so much for appearing. Yeah, thanks a lot. All right, thanks guys. Thanks for watching. Later.